Make sure you comment the hidden phrase for your chance to win our weekly giveaway. It might be cliché, but it's funny and often true. Size doesn't matter. It's ultimately talent and effectiveness. David beat Goliath, 300 Spartans killed hundreds of thousands of Persians, and Rocky defeated Ivan Drago. In the case of NBA, it doesn't matter if you're tall or short. It's always going to be about the way you play and how strong your drive is while playing. Just like what Nate Robinson said, it's heart over height. In today's video, we'll be showing you the shortest players in NBA history. They may be the shortest in the NBA, but they sure dominated with their exceptional skills during their time in the league. Before we get into it, thumbs up, subscribe, and slam dunk that notification bell for future videos. This is Lux Sports. Spud Webb Michael Anthony Jerome Spud Webb, known for winning a slam dunk contest despite being 5 feet and 6 inches. This surprised the media and his teammates, defending dunk champion Dominique Wilkins, because for someone that short, you'd never think that he'd nail a dunking contest or let alone do 360s. Because of his height, most scouts predicted that he'd play either in Europe or for the Harlem Globetrotters, but Webb was drafted in the fourth round of the 1985 NBA Draft by the Detroit Pistons. He played his first six seasons with the Atlanta Hawks, but had his best year statistically with the Sacramento Kings, where he played as a starter in the year 1992 to 1995. Before he retired from professional basketball in 1997, he split a season between Atlanta Hawks and Minnesota Timberwolves, and another season with Orlando Magic. In his career, he played a total of 814 games, averaging 9.9 .9 points per game and registering 8,072 points and 4,342 assists in 12 seasons. Nate Robinson Born in Seattle, Nate Robinson is a 5'9'' former professional basketball player who was the 21st pick of the 2005 NBA Draft. The 5'9'' point guard played in the NBA for the team's New York Knicks, Boston Celtics, Oklahoma City Thunders, Golden State Warriors, Chicago Bulls, Denver Nuggets, Los Angeles Clippers, and the New Orleans Pelicans. In 2010, Robinson also became the NBA's first three-time slam dunk champion. His memorable dunk was when he jumped over the 1986 slam dunk champion, Spud Webb, and received a perfect score for the dunk. Would you believe that this basketball player also has a professional boxing record, and even played football in his college years? Height doesn't really matter when you know you got the skill and when you believe in yourself. It's always heart over height. Muggsy Bogues Born on January 9, 1965, Tyrone Curtis Muggsy Bogues is the shortest player ever in NBA history. The 5'3'' former professional basketball player played point guard for four teams during his 14-season career in the NBA. Although he was best known for playing his 10 seasons with the Charlotte Hornets, he also played for teams Washington Bullets, Golden State Warriors, and Toronto Raptors. Bogues was drafted 12th in the 1987 NBA Draft by the Washington Bullets. He made his debut with the team against the Atlanta Hawks at Omni Coliseum. Despite playing 14 games as a rookie, he led the team at both steals and assists. The following season, he was selected by the Charlotte Hornets in the 1988 NBA Expansion Draft because he was left unprotected by the Bullets, but there was no quarrel about it at all. In fact, Bogues was excited to start the new season with his new team. It was with the Hornets that he flourished and became popular among basketball fans. But it doesn't mean he didn't have hardships. He underwent surgery for a knee injury and had to miss a few games in the season. But despite all of that, he didn't lose hope and still played with new teams in two different seasons. Calvin Murphy Calvin Jerome Murphy is a retired professional basketball player with a height of 5 feet and 9 inches. Before he began his basketball career, Murphy was known as a world-class baton twirler. Despite being bullied about it, Murphy proved his bullies wrong and won a national championship in baton twirling in 1963. Through that, he earned his reputation and recognition for his amazing talent. When he was in his college years, he began his basketball career. In the 1970 NBA Draft, Calvin Murphy was drafted by the San Diego Rockets, which is now called the Houston Rockets, as the first pick in the second round of the draft. In his first season, he was nominated to the NBA All-Rookie Team. The 5'9'' guard was known for his quickness and defensive ability. Calvin Murphy was known to be one of the best free-throw shooters ever, setting NBA records here and there, all in just one season. He set many more records with the Rockets, including that all-time leading scorer until it was broken by Hakeem Olajuwon in 1994. Although he retired from the NBA in 1983, he was still inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1993. Isaiah Thomas 
Isaiah Jamar Thomas is a 5'9 inch superb baller by the nickname The King in the Fourth, which is a nod to Game of Thrones' The King in the North. The point guard started his basketball career in college and was also a three-time all-conference selection in the Pac-10. Isaiah Thomas was selected in the second round of the 60th and final pick by the Sacramento Kings in the 2011 NBA Draft. Regardless of being the final pick, he managed to win the Rookie of the Month honors for his extraordinary skills. He joined the list of players below 6 feet tall to average over 20 points per game and 6 assists per game in a season. Thomas was immensely popular in his first three seasons with the Kings before he joined the Phoenix Suns in 2014. He made his debut for the team in their vicious 119-99 season opener against the Los Angeles Lakers. He also led the team to victory in a 94-89 win over the San Antonio Spurs, which made him become the fourth son to score at least 23 points in their first two games with the team. After missing a few games, he got back into action with their game against the Detroit Pistons, scoring 103-105. Despite the loss against the Pistons, Thomas still managed to lead their team to victory in a match against the Portland Trailblazers, with a score of 118-113. Thomas was announced as a contestant for the NBA Skill Challenge which makes him the shortest contestant to participate in this kind of event. He was then traded to the Boston Celtics in February 2015. He was named as NBA All-Star in the year 2016 and 2017. He also received an All-NBA Team's honor, where he led the Celtics to the number one seed of the Eastern Conference. And then he was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers in August 2017, before being dealt to the Lakers in midseason. Thomas also joined the Denver Nuggets in July 2018 and later signed with the Washington Wizards in 2019, before being traded again to Los Angeles Clippers in mid-season. I guess the trading doesn't stop when you have out-of-this-world skills. A friendly reminder, the skies don't have limits, and neither should you. When you're good at something, take advantage of it. Basketball is not just a sport, it's a lifestyle. Now don't forget to watch this next video. Isaiah Wood